Where'd you go to high school? So where'd you go to high school? Where'd you go to high school? If you didn't know by now, I'm new to St. Louis and I'm already tired of getting that question. But instead of complaining to my coworkers like I usually do, I decided to do a little investigation. I first took my quest to the Post-Dispatch Library, we call it The Morgue, and stumbled across Dan Dillon's book, So Where'd You Go to High School? He can probably tell you what I found better than I can. One of the biggest factors, I think, and especially when you're talking about baby boomers like myself, who uh, went to high school in the 50s and 60s and maybe early 70s, is a publication called Prom Magazine. Prom Magazine was a monthly publication like a life magazine for teens. Prom gave you an idea of you know, what these other schools looked like, what the other kids were like, what they were doing. Another reason is I believe the Catholic factor. Back in the uh, 50s and 60s, one out of every three high schools in the St. Louis metropolitan area was Catholic. And if you live here, you know Catholic schools are still pretty big and hold their own reputations. When people think about SLU, then they assume that I'm really in the books and like I dress really preppy and I just love Sperry's and Vineyard Vines and stuff like that. People will say, oh, oh, you went to Villa, like that. Because um, I think there's this preconceived notion of who you were if you went to Villa de Chen. Hoity-toity, a little bit. Um, I think a little, a little snobby, maybe. Now both of them acknowledge the diversity of their schools even with the tuition hikes. They also think the high school question for kids and adults is pretty safe. I don't think it's um, like a way for private school people to find out who else went to private school. I think it's a way to figure out where did you come from? It's either a conversation starter, that generalization, or to find a location without, within St. Louis in which you probably reside. And other people I talked to said similar things. I just think it's really just a way, for me at least, to, to ask follow-up questions. When I've asked it in the past, it's been more of a connection. I think it's kind of a networking thing to begin with. But the question isn't always positive, and people I showed earlier also acknowledge that. You see, St. Louis has a long history of segregated schooling, so the question can mean something entirely different for students at underserved schools, who are usually black. People will assume that you are a certain type of person if you went to a certain high school. Because if I say I went to a bad high school, oh, ghetto, especially if you're black. It really can be difficult to maneuver through St. Louis and try to become something successful because there are a lot of misconceptions when people ask that. Avita Caldwell graduated from Vashon High School and eventually St. Louis University. To her, the question carries a lot of weight. One, People could guess your socioeconomic status in society. And two, you are definitely judged on your intelligence. I only dislike that question because it's pretty damning to people who, like myself, went to Vashon, which is known as, as not a good high school. The question heightens the negativity surrounding her alma mater and steals the focus away from the positives. People like myself who were, I had a lot of friends who were on honor roll and went on to do great things. Sometimes when you focus on the lesser or the, the negative aspects of things, you kind of let some of the good things fall by the wayside. So maybe we should try seeing past all of the assumptions that come with where someone went to high school in St. Louis. How about starting a conversation with, so tell me about yourself. I don't know where to start, my parents. Okay.